Hi, I'm Meg Pertell. I'm studying the Enterprise Leadership Program at QUTX. I grew up in a country town called Albury, down on the border of New South Wales and Victoria. And my time at school, I really had lots to do with leadership programs. And I really enjoyed being able to delve into those opportunities. And I've really taken that forward in my business life. My role as a radio producer presenter involves putting together the radio news bulletins and being able to pick and choose what news goes in those bulletins and also um, putting that to air. So going into recording studios and reading the news at the top of the clock um, and really letting people in Queensland know what's happening. My role is a very busy one, so every day is different. It starts with a 3am alarm and uh, I never know what I'm walking into. It's certainly very fast paced and everything is changing throughout the morning. I have uh, bulletin commitments every half an hour and the news is always changing. So I was awarded the Women in Media Queensland Career Boost Scholarship last year and it really gave me an opportunity to study and further my career prospects and I chose QUT because it really enabled me to delve into those areas around innovation, strategy and leadership. The thing I really liked about the Enterprise Leadership Program was that I was able to complete it in small parts so I could pick and choose the courses that were most relevant to me and my role. I'm a lifelong learner and I've been training people for a long time but not really progressing my skills. QTX has really provided me with that opportunity to continue my education and enhance my career potential. I've also really enjoyed the facilitation and the cohort, just building that business network around Queensland has been really great. I'm finding that my study has been really helpful to sort of come up with some solutions to some of those problems that we're facing. There are changes in technology and changes in people's media consumption habits and we really need to find ways to adapt to that and really move forward in the news cycle and provide options for people in the way that they would like it. If I was to give one piece of advice to young women wanting to get started in the business sector, it would be really just to be brave and have a go. Back yourself, you have great skills and abilities and don't be afraid to be confident in using those.